used all around the world in almost anything, all the way from toys to plastic bags where we store our food in. But did you know that plastic can be found even in cigarette filters, which are actually 95% made out of plastic, and are recognized as a proven source of them? Cigarette filters are also one of the most common plastic pollutions in the environment, specifically the small cigarette filters. But you may ask, what microplastics even are? Well, by definition, microplastics are a form of plastics which are in diameter smaller than 5 mm, although most of the time invisible to the naked eye. Exact consequences of microplastics on human or animal health are yet to be studied. Microplastics can enter the human body through ingestion or inhalation, where they may be taken up in various organs and might affect health, for example by damaging cells or inducing inflammatory and immune reactions. Going back to the microplastics in cigarette filters, which are composed of more than 15,000 fiber strands and end up in our oceans. They dump lots of microplastic particles, which are harmful particles with low degradation rates, which means potential high exposure and risk to aquatic environment, and can be introduced into the food chain because they are easily ingested by a variety of aquatic organisms causing toxicity to fish and microorganisms. Especially eating exposed fish and shellfish could have consequences on the health of a human consumer. Where smokers discard their butts into the environment, the single-use plastic filter, the remains of tobacco and paper wrap, and the toxic compounds that remain in them cause harm to the environment. Therefore, a new form of pollution from cigarettes is added to the environment, with a proven damage to ecosystems and therefore to humans. This pollution cannot be ignored and should be treated by the scientific and social communities as an important microplastic source that harms our planet and its biodiversity. But can we actually fix this problem? Well, first thing that comes to mind is probably recycling the filters, but these filters have to be washed really well to get all the nicotine and other toxic chemicals out of them, therefore also washing the microplastic out which end up in the water that was used to wash them and we end up back where we started. A more efficient way is biodegradation, which is the use of microorganisms to decompose microplastics. Some microorganisms have been found to use the carbon in plastic as an, as an energy source, and the biofilms, which are communities of microorganisms, can already be found in the naturally occurring on plastic litter. Many microorganisms can adapt quickly to new environments, Maybe that biodegradation could be used in a variety of situations to both prevent the introduction of microplastics into marine environments by treating wastewater before it reaches water bodies and by treating already contaminated environments. Fixing the problem of microplastic in cigarettes would also be smoking less and dropping cigarette butts in a special garbage, not mixed with anything else, especially not in nature. Microplastics present a big environmental challenge to which we all should stand up to, anyway we individually or together can.